Hey there everybody and welcome to today's video from the Retro Game Guy. Now today I'm going to play Marble Madness on the Nintendo. So Marble Madness um, was first released in the arcades in 1984 and was ported over to the Nintendo in 1986. It's basically an isometric marble maze game where you have to race against the clock and various enemies or obstacles to get to the finish line. Now there are six stages in total, with the first being a practice stage. Um, let's give it a go and see how we get on. So, enter your name, Retro. There we go. And 90 degree 45. So that's basically, um, if you imagine a, a sort of a trackpad in the arcade where it goes in whatever direction you move the trackpad, that's the 90 degree, whereas 45 degree is a bit more restricted. So let's give it a go. This is the practice race. So we've got 60 seconds. I don't think there's any enemies on this one. It's just a case of getting used to the control system and getting the ball across the line. Well, we've done that. Well, that's good because uh, it would be a terrible video if we couldn't make it through the practice run. Albeit, you don't really have lives as such. Um, the more you die, then if you finish the game, you lose points at the end. But this is it for real now. As you can see, there's a marble enemy. Let's get round. Get out of my way. Oh, we've troubled already. There we go. We're away. Okay, we've got these green things. I think they're not too big a drama, although they could be now because they can jump. Get away from me. Here we go. So the clock is your enemy, if you remember. Um, the losing lives doesn't matter if you don't finish the game because if you don't finish, then you don't have any points to be deducted down this funnel and I think we're on to the last part here which is a little bit of a tricky area but we're through 33 seconds to spare excellent okay so on to the third one which is the intermediate race so I'll get them 30 seconds now I've got 68 let's try and get around this as quick as we can because it gets harder and there are some obstacles that I absolutely know I'm going to struggle with Oh, we, oh, we nearly got lucky then. We go down this path. The control system is really straightforward. It's basically um, your arrows and you press the A button on the NES control pad to speed up a little bit, which becomes important later on on different levels as you need to... We've got some extra time there. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it put me off my stride and made me lose... Oh, we've lost control. So if you lose focus on this game, it can be an absolute nightmare to get back. As you can see, I'm having a mare now. Let's try and get composure back. Now you've got a big run up this hill. Oh, we've made it, we've made it. And across the line. So we've got a 40 second buffer there as we move on to the next maze. So 40 seconds at the start plus 30, so we've got 70 seconds, surely we can do this, right? Ooh, here we go. Oh, we've got these like hairdryer things that seem to be uh, in the marble in, we need to get over that side a bit. Oh, we've fallen over, but we're okay. If I'm honest, I'm probably not so bothered about losing points, I just want to see how far I can get. Oh, what are them things? So these sort of things are basically coming out of the floor and causing me pain. I think there's a bit of a jump here. Need to hurry up and go fast and get across here. Yeah, and then there's another jump here. Oh, we didn't make it. Let's keep pressing that A button. We've made it. Okay. So we're on to the last part of this level where we've got these... Oh, wow, these annoying things. I think you can kind of sneak up at the edge. We've done it. We're round. We're, we are round and across the line. 30 seconds to spare. Now, this is the only one where you have to go up. Everything you know is wrong. And we've got 50 seconds, so this is going to be a challenge because we've got to try and find a way of getting up the hills really quickly. 
that wasn't too bad. Ooh, that looks a bit hard. Get, get ourselves up here. We go up through the funnel. We're not doing too bad at the moment, I have to say. Albeit. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't even get up there. Right, slow down a bit, that's better. Slow down, keep the, keep the pace going. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go this way now. Okay, we're doing alright. So now we've got to avoid these flying things. If we can. Oh, that wasn't good. 24 seconds. I don't think we've got too much long on this level to go, to be fair. I think we're nearly at the end. Just going to get round here. 18 seconds. And here we go. We're going to get across the line, hopefully. We've made it. We have made it. That's the reverse sort of going uphill course out of the way. And now the final. I mean, I've literally got 33 seconds. But this is the final maze, basically. Um, this is tough. This is tough. I don't think um, I have anything like enough time to I can't get the first bit. Come on. I need a run up. Let's get a bit of a run up. In fact, let's just go around this side and then we know we can get up. Oop, come on, composure again, okay, jump over, through the funnel, oh look, let's run across these, and down the hill, what on earth is this, I'm just going to try and avoid it, we've got 9 seconds left, 8 seconds, we're not going to finish the game, but at least we got to the final level, which is cool, what's the bad after years of not playing the game? And that's it. We're out of time. So we got to the last level. It wasn't too bad. Hope you like watching today's video. If you did, please leave a like. Um, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.